The FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour has come to the USA as the planet's best players battle it out for open glory. And up next, it's an all-USA affair for the bronze medal match right here in Cincinnati. Hello and welcome to the Lindner Family Tennis Centre here in Cincinnati. We're in actually Mason, Ohio, just uh, in the suburb of Cincinnati. As we get ready for the uh, bronze medal match between Mayor and Doherty, who are taking on Lucina and Dalhauser. Nick Lucina and Phil Dalhauser are the number two seeds. Johnny Mayer and Ryan Doherty seeded 10. All that goes out the window, though, when you're playing against your compatriots. And, uh, well, we've had a weather update. It's now mostly cloudy as opposed to the overcast day that we've had here and the, uh, as the sun is about to go down it's decided to make an appearance it's got markedly warmer as a result it has to be said and the wind has dropped down to next to nothing on uh, center court the announcer just getting the crowd revved up one more time done a fantastic job all day here to uh, keep the crowd going keep them entertained and once again, doing a fantastic job. The two teams have finished their warm-up and are now waiting for their introductions before we meet the uh, players. Even uh, the Sith Lord can be uh, entertained by beach volleyball. But before we meet those players, it, we, uh, we will meet the referees in charge of this one. Thank you. Thank you. Two cracking men's semi finals earlier on, in which the USA well, both counts narrowly missed out. So the uh, first referee today is Mr. Jonas Personini from Switzerland, which works for Swiss Volley. And uh, he will be ably assisted by Puerto Rico's Carlos Rivera. Quite easy for the fans to uh, show their support for this one. An old USA crowd for another USA bronze medal match. Welcome to the men's bronze medal match here in Mason, Ohio. Mason, how you guys doing tonight? Well, the guys here in Mason are doing just fine. Hopefully you are as well, wherever you're watching from, or whatever you are watching this match with. You be tucked up in bed. Perhaps you're uh, out and about somewhere. It's uh, time to settle into your seats, your sofa, your bed, and get ready for this one. Out comes Ryan Doherty for the USA. He's 32 from Fountain Valley, California. Has a silver medal from Berlin in 2014. $114,000 in prize money. His playing partner, Johnny Mayer, 33 years of age from Los Angeles. Has a fourth from Jamen in 2014, China. $44,000 in prize money how he would desperately love to get his first ever World Tour medal on home soil. But he's up against the formidable duo of Dalhauser and Lucena, who narrowly missed out on a place in the final in three sets to Canada. Nick Lucena will be uh, coming out onto the sand very shortly once the announcers finish bigging him up. From Santa Barbara, four career wins, $409,000 in prize money. In a 
man who needs hardly any introduction, does he? Phil Dalhauser. 36 years of age from Ventura, 33 gold medals, a million dollars in prize money. One of the best blockers that you will ever see on the sand. So a final exchange of pleasantries. It'll be interesting to see how the teams approach this one. They will have no doubt played against each other on numerous occasions, and what we might see is perceived tactics might well go out the window. The way we go with the bronze medal match here from the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour Cincinnati Open. An all USA affair, it was Mayer who put the ball into play, and it's Olusena who puts the ball down on the sand for the first point. It is Nick Lusena who will have the serve. 13th time that uh, Lusena and Dalhauser have played together on the World Tour. <laughs> First time they played in bronze medal match, actually. Lucena and Dalhauser. Up until this semi final, they were an 8 0 in all of their previous semi finals. In other words, they've been there eight times and won all of them. Dalhauser readies himself to serve. It's 2008. Olympic gold medal came with Todd Rogers in Beijing. Maya. Oh, that looked like it came right off the schnoz. And indeed it did. And I think uh, we've just seen our first example of Scott Sterling in action in the form of Ryan Doherty, boof, right into the face. Now, those of you wondering what I'm talking about, they refer to Scott Sterling, well, you have to look it up, Scott Sterling and volleyball. Nice roll to the line from there. This is this look at Doherty again, he's up and across, but this is the, the downside of being a huge blocker with a spread block. Oh, blimey, that's going to bring tears to his eyes. Something that we're used to seeing, actually, with Dalhauser. He gets up, but normally gets the ball off his forehead. You see his cap go flying. He very rarely gets hit full in the face. And he does occasionally get hit in the head. So nothing in it, really, at the end change, bar the one point. Dalhauser with the serve. Quite a relaxed feel to this, isn't it? This bronze medal match. As far as Lucena and Dalhauser are concerned, they've uh, probably actually moved themselves up to the number one ranked team in front of uh, Given Patterson. And the fact that there's only a few points difference between first and, and third and fourth here. So two touches called by uh, the first referee. Doherty not too happy with that, or Mayer. So Mayer goes with the swing. There's a touch, there's a second touch. Well, that's a block. Well, that's why. What's happening is they're saying that uh, Johnny Mayer didn't make a block because he was off the net. So it was actually down as two touches. If he'd have been deemed to have blocked that ball, then the second touch would have been fine. The referee saying no. You were way off the net, just having to be jumping in the air, not deemed to be a block, so that was why the USA not happy. They'll be even less happy now, it's the USA in blue, as they find themselves two points down. Good up. Top swing. Mayer turned by the ball. Nice catch in the front row. 
here. Great movement. You can see the way that Lucena kept his shoulders facing to the net. Unfortunately, Mayer doesn't do that. Watch his. He gets turned. And that's why the ball didn't come back. with a loose serve. Oh, it's another one in the face for Doherty. You see the way that he goes up, but he keeps his head back. He doesn't really look up through his arms. You watch this. Boom, again, another Scott Sterling. Well, he's going to be black and blue by the end of this. He carries on doing that. Might end up being punch drunk. Yeah, that was a shame, the uh, ball coming off the block and that ricochet sending it away from Nick Lasena. So at the end change, it's the number two seeds in front by two. Johnny Mayer looking for his first ever medal on the World Tour. Already finding himself behind here in this first set. Just too far for Doherty to go and chase it down. It's a classic case of everything looks good. He's got a good posture, good position, but then doesn't put any momentum into the ball to make the pass, lets it hit him. And that's where the mistake came from. Good lead by Doherty. But it's looking like this first set may well go to the number two seeds unless Doherty and Mayer can find a way back in. Three behind. Interesting, Doherty trying to get out of the way of that instead of trying to throw himself in the way of it at the net. Watch his reactions here. Doherty coming in, and then he kind of flinches out of the way of that one. Maybe he thought Mayer would make the dig. I can tell by the hand. Dalhauser. Right, Doherty supposed to pass it to Mayer, not give it to Dalhauser. I think just. Slightly caught out by the uh, movement of the ball. Dalhauser, though, accepting it and dispatching it. The team in red now, five ahead. <laughs> and stopping the power angle cross court. Six foot one beats six foot ten, and this is how it's done. from Mayer. Hey. The block out as well. A late movement from Dalhauser, moving laterally, but with his feet still in his original position. As a result of that, doesn't get across the net as we hit the technical timeout. And unable to send the ball straight down. We can have another look at the uh, Scott Sterling moments for Ryan Doherty. Probably not the best way to try and make a block. You really want to be looking up between your shoulders, not just having your head back and letting that come right through your hands. That was a stinger. And this one was another one he felt. Both off Lucena. The view we have from the blimp that's been around all day today, providing us with some excellent pictures from the sky.
Good up. Two good picks from Mayer. But he was left a little short by that ball up from Doherty to him. He had no room to do anything, really. Trying to go a little bit quickly, trying to get it down in front of Dalhaz. It didn't work. Block from Dalhauser. Yeah, coming inside, but then cutting it back into where the block was waiting. So two blocks for Dalhauser so far, none for Doherty. Error from Mayer. It's going from bad to worse now. For the team in blue and a timeout called by the captain, Ryan Doherty. His team six points behind in this first set. Sainer to serve. Oh, that's a monster block from Dalhauser, is it? Yes, it is indeed. Straight down, no room at all here for Mayer. Look how far across the net Dalhauser gets. And at the point of contact of Mayer, Dalhauser's just as close to the ball, pretty much. And that's going to be... Uh, a double touch against Ryan Doty, and there'll be a little bit of trouble here, a little bit of afters there, a great call to the referee. Jonas Persinoni speaks perfectly good English. In fact, uh, we're not working for Swiss Volley. He's uh, a linguist, speaks many languages. A little bit of anger from Doty as he hammers that one away cross court to vent his frustrations, perhaps. So Lusena puts it away. Very interesting when you're watching Ryan Doherty blocking and you're watching Dalhauser blocking. Two very different styles. They're both big men, they're both tall and thin. But certainly Dalhauser has by far the best blocking technique. The way that he gets across the net, the way that he's hunting for the ball. Very different to what Doherty does. Very nice serve. But a very nice put away. Oh, it's an ace serve from there. One corner to the other. That was his power angle. That was the line, but no one getting in front of it. You see where Lucena is, he's not set up for that ball and he's completely beaten by it. Oh, it's another one, brilliant, absolute quality from Johnny Mayer. One corner and then the other. It's not about how hard you hit it, it's where you put it. And he's left both of them standing. Johnny Mayer on a hat-trick of aces. 
Well, he tried to get out in the middle with that one. Didn't quite pay off, but it's certainly given a little bit of momentum for he and Doherty. Maybe. Rosena with the serve. Point, give it back. Ryan Doherty, known as the avatar, he'll serve now. And he's going to have to scurry to the net to block. You've got to serve tough enough to stop the center from popping that up and letting Dalhauser have a swing, especially when you see Doherty still trying to get into the net, still trying to get from the baseline. After serving that ball, and it's Dalhauser puts it away. Set point now for the number two seeds. Well, that's a classic case of going after the ball. Instead of just leaving it, it beaten him to, the, to his side, and it was going right to where Lusena was waiting, but he's gone up, and then he's thought, oh, I'll try and swat it back. Reached outside his body line and given a cheap point back. Set point number two, though, for Lusena and Dalhauser. And it's taken by Nick Lusena into the corner down the line. And the first set goes the way of the number two seeds, 21-15. Confirmation of that first set score. Number two seeds. Pretty pleased with the way that went. Set two about to get underway. A must win set for Mayor and Doherty. Lucena with the serve. Saying a bit of good finish from Mayer as it came back over the net. First one side, then the other. Mayer holding the box. As Lucena has to go left and right. He's been pretty reliable throughout the match so far with his siding out. That time, though, the net getting the better of him. But he's led off the hook as uh, the net gets the better of Mayer. Was a little bit low, and as it came across 
towards Mayer, wanted to swing on the line. It was even lower by the time he contacted it. Dalhauser once more. A good angle from Doherty. He was showing exactly where he was going to swing hard on the ball. Nobody moving to intercept it. Good recovery by Lucena. But it's a top block from Doherty. That ball very tight to the antenna. And he sealed the line and then took the cross court away at the same time, didn't he? All off the back of a top serve. Putting Dalhauser under pressure. And that time, you can see how far across the net that Doherty gets. Six hitting errors so far for Doherty and Mayer. Just the two for Dalhauser and Lucena. Cross! Oh, leave it a lot for Mayer. Just could see, couldn't you, that Lucena's weight was still going backwards as he left the sand trying to adjust but still moving backwards. And then as the ball was hit into the top of that net, all the pace taken off it and he couldn't go after it. Rolls gently this time off of the uh, head of Doherty and he can't find the angle he needs to put the ball away. You won't want to see that again. Good up. Easy dig and a great put away. Mayer popping it up on a plate for Doherty. This is the beauty of beach volleyball. It's not just about making the digs. That's a great dig. But then it's trying to put it in a position when you make a dig like Mayer does here for your partner to have a swing. I'm saying that just chipping this one over the top, agonizingly close for Johnny Mayer. And he couldn't get there in time. Big swing, too big for the court. Great up. Oh, almost again. Now has it. Well, no doubt apologise to Johnny Mayer when he turns around. He didn't actually mean to swing hard at him. <laughs> he almost caught it, didn't he? You can see he's looking for it. Can he try and get on it? Well, rattles around his hands. That would have been something special had it come back into play. Very nice shot from Doherty. And Mayer and Doherty now have settled into a very good rhythm here. Much better passing, certainly a lot better siding out from Doherty. And it's keeping them in front. <laughs> Side out obtained by Lucena. And any change for both teams.
good dig. Brilliant play. Galhazza has the sweetest of hands, doesn't he, when it comes to setting. Look at that. And then look at that to finish. Decided to go over with the second ball. Had to make an adjustment, which would have given this a little bit of time to realise what was going on, but he just stood and watched. This adjustment meaning he could only go cross court. where Doherty struggles a little bit when he tries to break from the net. Doesn't quite have the skills necessary to keep the ball in play. Lovely up by Lusena. And then as Doherty breaks, rather lackadaisically it must be said, he's punished by Lusena for it. Snicks that one past the block. Well, that might have been going wide. Lucena deciding to play it. Doesn't matter now, though, as he drives through the ball there, can't handle it. Dalhauser and Lucena back to within a point. Just watch the heat. Really giving it everything, opening up full power. Great expression. And Maya couldn't handle it. Brilliant. Chance for Dallas to have the swing, doesn't take it. Lusena does, it's all square. And it's the third facial. Well, it's fact the fourth, isn't it? As uh, Dallas gets his first. Doherty's had three. Lovely swing from Lusena from his point of view to put that one away. He popped it up for Dallas to have a go, wasn't interested. Lusena had to do it. Darty miles too late for that one. Great view from the jib right above Dalhauser as he gets ready to serve. Chance for Lusena to have the lead at the technical. Oh, he's cut it too short. So it's May and Doherty who head to the technical timeout, one in front, but they find themselves still at one set behind. And the number two seeds are breathing right down their neck here in the second.
was a big swing from there. But they can't find the court. Both teams are playing themselves uh, neck and neck now. There's a chance it'll come back. Another one in the face for Doherty. And it's Dalhauser who puts it down. And the number two seeds edge in front. Doherty once again using his head, but not to great effect. He's had one in the nose, in the chin, in both eyes. Now the trouble beginning for Doherty and Mayer. No sooner have Lucena and Dalhazard got the lead, they've extended it straight away. Lucena <laughs> screaming at Phil to keep it in play. But would you believe it, it's popped up brilliantly as far as Doherty's concerned. All that effort from Dalhauser, and a lot of effort, and a great dig, but all for nothing. <laughs> Solid cut away to the line from Dalhauser, going across his body. height he reaches. <laughs> it's one of those where it could have just easily have been an ace as opposed to a miss serve. Definitely Doherty struggling with his right knee. You can see as he played that serve and then come through to the net. It wasn't a proper run through, was it? It was more of a hop and a, a limp. His mobility is an issue, which is probably why teams have been going after him. You think perhaps a little bit more of dropping him short, making him move might be the way forward. However, Dalhauser at the net doesn't really matter, does it? Another block for him. See how he gets up, and he's reaching through and reaching for the ball. Very different style to how Doherty blocks. He was way off the net, really, in comparison. Timeout called by Doherty and Mayer as this second set starting to slip away, and with it, the chance of Mayer's first ever medal on the world tour. It hasn't helped, Luke, has it, as far as Mayo and Doherty are concerned. Another block for Dalhauser. Brilliant. The number two seed showing their class with that play. Lucena holding his ground, making the dig. And then just it off of Doherty's block. Oh, 
Awesome. Well, that was clever from Mayer. Kept his head. Good dig, good reactions. Good hustle to get it over. A wild one from Mayer. Dalhauser and Lucena now two points away from bronze here in Cincinnati. Point then for the number two seeds as Dalhauser hammers that one over on two. Lucena <laughs> makes the dig. Oh, and it's a massive block from Doherty. And the match point is saved. Well, that's it. It's all over. Mayer can't get it into play. And the number two seeds take bronze here in Cincinnati. Lucena and Dalhauser in straight sets. 21-15, 21-16. It's not to be a medal for Johnny Mayer. His search continues. Confirmation of the score for you. Just wasn't quite to be for the avatar and his playing partner, Johnny Mayer. Relatively straightforward victory in the end for Nick Bissena and Phil Dalhauser. Be pretty pleased with the way that went. There'll be another chance, no doubt, for Johnny Mayer and uh, Brian Doherty. Just have to keep searching, keep, have to keep playing hard and wait for their opportunity to come again and then take it with both hands and not let it slip through their fingers like it's done today here at the Cincinnati Open. They can have no complaints. They played some brilliant volleyball at times and it just wasn't to be they were undone by the consummate professionals that Nick Lusena and Phil Dalhauser are Be interesting to see and hear what they have to say for themselves Dane Blanton former USA international is courtside and waiting to have a chat with our winners we can go to them now let's hear what they have to say all right, you guys, congratulations. Thanks, uh, just really an awesome and efficient match for you guys. How important was it? And I know you guys are thinking about points and, and all that, but you need one more tournament to have that 12 minimum. Yeah. How does it feel to get a third here and medal once again? Uh, I mean, you know, obviously we're a little disappointed we weren't in the finals, but I'm pretty proud of us as a team to come back uh, and win against a really good team and Ryan and John. They've been playing great all year. Um, so, you know, it's good that uh, we finish off with a win, use a little momentum into Moscow, and you know we can maybe add this for uh, the Olympics. How difficult has it been this year? You guys have been all over the place traveling. Uh, compare it to your last couple of runs to the games. Uh, well, last couple games, we Todd and I were kind of in control, like we could pick and choose what we wanted to play. Here, uh, last year, Nick and I did a lot of work at the end of the year, and. Um, it really helped us out this year because we didn't have to play all the opens. So we kind of kind of pick and choose the ones we wanted to play. And you guys are off to Russia tonight or tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah. Well, good luck, you guys. Congratulations Thanks. on Thanks, the bronze man. here. Thanks, Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay. Well, good luck indeed. And uh, Lucena and Dalhauser, who needed to get uh, 
themselves one more event. They've done the business here with a consummate two sets to nothing win here at the Cincinnati Open. Concludes our coverage from the men's bronze medal match here in Cincinnati. There is still one more game to come, the matter of the goal to be decided between Brazil and Canada. Hope you can join us for that. But until then, from all of us here, it's time to say goodbye.